Hi, my name is Adam Walker. I'm a partner at Permanent Wealth Partners, a financial planning firm here in London. Uh, this is the second part of our series of financial planning for professionals. Uh, and today I want to talk about something that impacts all of us, and that's tax. Now, tax is law. We have to pay tax. But then again, tax relief is also law, and we don't have to pay more tax than we are due to pay. Many people don't understand this. So today I want to explain how we think about tax and what some things you can look at doing in terms of your taxable income and contributions. So let's take a look at the screen. So I'm going to start off by looking at the earnings spectrum going from zero all the way up. So the, the first number to think about is this figure of 12,570. Now under this figure, this is known as our personal allowance. So a personal allowance, this is effectively, the, this part of your earnings are tax free and have a zero rate of tax for now. Um, the next level to think about is 50,000. Well, it's 50,270 is the figure as at this year, 23, 24. And underneath this figure, we all pay 20% tax. And for some people, that's all the tax they may pay because their earnings don't get above the 50,000 level. Now that's fine. Above this figure, we pay 40% tax, and this is known as being a higher rate taxpayer. The next figure that people don't tend to understand properly, but has a significant impact, is this figure of 100,000. Because above 100,000, we actually start to lose the personal allowance here. So this personal allowance starts to be removed for all the any pound we earn above 100,000. This makes a big deal. This means that between 100 and 125,140, you are effectively a 60% taxpayer on any earnings between that rate because that's the 40% you're currently paying and the removal of the personal allowance, which means you become a 20% taxpayer down in this zone. So that area is, an, is, is a very tax inefficient zone. Above 125,000, you become an additional rate taxpayer, which means 45% tax payer, 45 tax on your earnings. So what can you do and how is this relevant? Well, if your earnings particularly are somewhere between 125 and 100,000, there are certain actions you can take to try and reduce your taxable income. The first and easiest action you can make or take is a pension contribution. So pension contributions, remember, you get tax relief on that. So how does that work? Well, the way it works is HMRC calculates the tax to be paid on your earnings as your total earnings for the year minus your personal pension contributions. So let's break this out in um, on, on our spectrum here. Say you earn 120,000, so you're sitting here, and then you make a 30,000 pound pension contribution, and that takes you to effectively taxable earnings of 90,000. And so therefore you would pay tax on the 90,000, so which means that that portion there on the 30,000 of the contribution, 20,000 of that you are going to get tax relief at 60%, and the last 10,000 you're going to get tax relief at 40%. That sounds like a pretty good deal. Um, now, this is some of the type of things that we look at and we help our clients understand and be tax efficient in terms of their income. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you'd like to have a chat and learn more about what we do, press the button on the, on the email that this came in and I hope to speak to you soon. Thank you.